Hi there. I thought since I've shown you a few times my balcony garden and the self-watering containers that I use for growing all my veggies, I thought I'd show you how I make a quick and easy one that's uh, inexpensive. Um, all it is is one of these big Rubbermaid totes. You can tell this one's a, a fairly deep one. Three, three of these two and a half gallon water jugs and a couple of um, water bottles. Very easy actually. All I do, the only tool that you really need is um, one of these blade knives. And what I do is with one of these water jugs, I just cut off the bottom. Now depending how much uh, water retention you want in one of these containers um, depends on how much of the bottom you're going to cut off of the, the water jugs. Um, I live in the desert, Mojave Desert, and I want a fair bit of water reservoir in the bottom of mine. And once I put these in, you can tell, I have a good 8 to 10 inches of soil depth in the top. But it's very simple. Three of them slide down in as so. And then the next thing I do is I drill, I figure out how high they come, and I just drill a couple of little holes. And that's just so that uh, you can't overwater. The water will get this high and then drain out. So if it rains or anything like that, your your plants won't get waterlogged and, and uh, rot. Um, and then what I do is I just take a couple of these just ordinary water bottles and I cut the bottom off, as you can see here. And I make a hole in one of these. Place it in. And there you have it. Very easy. Like I said, you just need the uh, blade knife and just to cut off the bottom of the containers and to poke the holes. Well, I use drill, but I mean you could you could easily use uh, the blade knife to do that as well. And a couple of of bottles. Now, when I put the soil in here, what will happen is I'll make sure that the soil it packs down into these little channels you can see here and along the edge and what that will do is that's where the soil is going to wick the water up and so that's one of the good things about this little system is you already have your little channels built in no no fancy work to do it's all right there and you can see like again like I said uh, lots of soil holding capacity. Now I can easily put two pepper plants into one of these containers and it has lots ample room to grow in. Um, I grow peas, um, all kinds of things. Well you've seen you've seen some of the stuff I've grown. And the other thing is too is if you have a smaller container hanging around the house. Uh, I just cut up the bottles in a different way. Now, I just cut up one bottle. I didn't want to waste too many of them. But I just cut up one bottle in here, and I just cut it up in a different way. And again, there's little grooves so that your uh, the soil can get down into the water. And again, all I would do is cut another little hole and put a couple of the wa bottomless water bottles in here. And... Uh, that's just a, a smaller one, and I've got blue ones. The blue, my blue totes that you see in the other gardening videos is one of these these totes. And again, just a very inexpensive tote, and a bunch of free stuff that happens to be laying around that would just go to the landfill otherwise, or to uh, recycling. I, mean, I put them in recycling, but a lot of people would just put them in the landfills. And uh, for five dollars, you know, for the tote that happened to be on sale, I've got myself a nice large watering, uh, self-watering container to grow lots of yummy, yummy vegetables in. Anyways, I hope this inspires you to uh, build your own self-watering container. Thank you for watching. Bye.